Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist or CKS is a performance-based certification exam that tests candidates' knowledge of Kubernetes and cloud security in a simulated real-world environment. One has to be Certified Kubernetes Administrator in order to become Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist. If you want to learn more about Certified Kubernetes Administrator, then please check out our CKA Everything You Must Know video. In this video, we will cover CKS Exam Overview, who the certification is for, CKS Exam Basics, Percentage-wise Exam Topics, Activity Guides to Follow, Learning Path for CKS, and in the end, we will also share information about the free class. With respect to Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, these are the six areas in which your knowledge will be tested. You should know about cluster setup, cluster hardening, which includes how to give role-based access control to minimize exposure, system hardening to reduce attack surface, minimizing microservice vulnerability, securing image and minimizing image footprint with supply chain security, and lastly, monitoring, logging, and runtime security. You can read about these topics in more detail on k21academy.com slash Kubernetes SEC 11. We keep this page updated with the latest certification information. What we have done here is that we have mapped most of the exam topics to hands-on labs. So one can get in-depth understanding about these topics by performing the labs. We have created around 30 labs from installing Kubernetes dashboard to using kernel hardening tools. You can find out more about these hands-on labs by visiting k21academy.com slash kubernetes sec05. Who is this certification for? If you are CK certified and are working or planning to work for securing container-based applications and Kubernetes platforms, this is the certification for you. It will not only give your skills and knowledge credibility, but also add to your value in the market. This certification is from Cloud Native Computing Foundation, popularly known as CNCF, which is a Linux Foundation project that was founded in 2015 to help advance container technology and align the tech industry around its evolution. A certified Kubernetes security specialist is expected to have the ability to secure container-based applications and Kubernetes platforms during builds, deployment, and runtime. The mode of CKS exam is online with duration of two hours, and there are 17 questions with passing score of 66%. The certificate is valid for three years and comes with one free retake. CKS certification is prerequisite for the CKS certification. As the CKS exam will be proctored, so the tools and resources you need for appearing in the exam include webcam, mic, screen sharing, and they expect you to have Google Chrome or Chromium. No other web browser will be allowed. During exam, you will be presented with command line interface to execute your commands and you will be allowed to access documentation from kubernetes.io slash docs, github.com slash kubernetes, and kubernetes.io slash blog. But keep in mind that you are not allowed to visit any other external link during the exam. Now about the test environment. Your workspace should be clutter-free, walls have to be clear, no printed document on the wall, face should be clearly visible, Take care there is no window or other light source behind you. You cannot move around during the exam and there shouldn't be excessive noise around you. As mentioned earlier, Google Chrome or Chromium is required to be installed on your computer. Other than that, we recommend you to test your microphone, webcam and internet connection before the exam. Also keep your identification document handy during the examination. You can schedule the exam after registration of your exam voucher. You will get 12 months from registration to choose the date. You have to choose the right code for the exam and under my portal section, you can check the expiry or the last day on which exam can be taken. In case you want to reschedule or cancel your exam, you have to do so before 24 hours of the scheduled start time. If you fail to do so, then the exam fee will be forfeited. Now, let's see the curriculum topic wise. Topic 1. Cluster Architecture, Installation and Configuration Configuring Kubernetes cluster involves the basics to get started with a Kubernetes setup. Here is a screenshot from our training portal. You can see we have mapped everything with the activity guides so that you can gain in-depth knowledge by doing the hands-on exercises. Second topic is about setting up cluster. So, from exam perspective, cluster setup is weighed at 10%. It includes network security policies, 
reviewing security of components like kubelet, kubedns, and kubeapi. It also includes verifying platform binaries. Third topic, cluster hardening. It is weighed at 15% and it includes role-based access control, restricting access to Kubernetes API and updating Kubernetes. Fourth topic is system hardening. Weighed at 15%, it covers use of kernel hardening tools and reducing attack surfaces. Topic 5, minimizing vulnerability of microservices. It is weighed at 20% and covers managing secrets, setting up security domains, and implementing port-to-port -port encryption. Sixth topic, supply chain security. Weighed at 20%, it focuses over securing the supply chain with whitelist registries, signing and validating images, CubeSec, and static analysis is also included. Lastly, topic seven, monitoring, logging, and runtime security. Weighed at 20% in respect to the exam, it covers behavioral analytics, threat detection, attack detection, analytical investigation, and monitoring access by using audit logs. So these were all the topics that we talked about with their exam weightage and corresponding activity guides that you need to perform in order to prepare for the certification exam. We have put down everything about the certification, including some of the basic concepts that one should be knowing for CKS certification. From bootstrapping Kubernetes cluster using Kube ADM, cluster setup, cluster hardening, minimizing vulnerabilities, securing supply chain, logging to system hardening in this seven week roadmap where we take you from basics like installation and configuration to CKS expert along with tips and resources for clearing the certification exam. We also have CV preparation and on job support. So if you want to become certified Kubernetes security specialist and want to learn right from basics to an expert level, then we have a comprehensive step-by-step -step training program for you that includes seven modules, 35 lessons, 30 hands-on labs, including exam preparation, and the most important part, one year on job support. If you're interested in this program, then I would highly recommend you to attend our free class, which covers right from why you should learn Kubernetes to CKS training program. We also include topics like security in Kubernetes, the four C's of security, security lifecycle, and Kubernetes certifications. Then we will also talk about CKS exam topics and sample questions. So if you are interested or just starting out, then I highly recommend you to attend this free class by visiting k21academy.com slash Kubernetes SEC02. Just enter your name and email address so you can attend this free class. Here you can see the excellent feedbacks we receive on our sessions. Now, if you like this video on Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist and if you think it will help others, then please share it with your friends and colleagues. If you're watching this on YouTube or any other social channel, then please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on our upcoming video. See you in our next video. Till then, take care.